Hello, and welcome to Application Development with SDK for Zinc. SDK provides a development environment nearly identical for standalone and Linux development. SDK is based on Eclipse, a familiar development environment for the software engineer. Xilinx provides extensions for programming the programmable logic and debugging the embedded processor. Let's take a quick look at the overall software development flow. On the left-hand side is the domain of the hardware engineer. The job of the hardware engineer is to generate a hardware platform description. This is exportable from Plan Ahead or from XPS. This description is brought with into the Platform Studio SDK, where a BSP would be created and various applications could be uh, created as well. Within SDK, there's support for debugging and profiling, and when the engineer is happy with the code, it can be imported using impact and downloaded to the development board. Once the hardware has been created, it is exported from XPS or the Plan Ahead tool. The key files that are used to construct a Xilinx hardware platform specification these files describe the hardware capabilities and the so to the software environment. This includes an XML description, an optional bit file, and an optional BMM file. This description also is shown as a memory map showing both the memory regions and the peripherals, and also provides a quick link to the peripheral data sheets. The important thing to remember here is that this is an automated process, only a few keystrokes to generate. Next is developing the board support package. Every application requires a board support package. This board support package provides specific support code for a given hardware platform specification. It describes what libraries are used, how standard in and standard out are mapped, etc. It provides device drivers for the hardware specified in the platform specification. And that includes header files. These header files have lots of constants in them which provide very easy access for addressing the peripherals. The other thing that these header files will do for the software engineer is it abstracts the hardware from the software and if a hardware ch makes a change then by continuing to use these constants the software is able to be processed and continue to be worked without uh, significant change. More than one board support package can exist for a hardware platform specification. These board support packages may include different libraries and the various settings used within those libraries. And the BSP may target either the standalone environment or Linux. By having multiple BSPs, one can quickly change an application to running un from running under a standalone application to running under a Linux-based uh, environment. Again, this is an automatic, automated process and only a couple of keystrokes are required to generate the necessary BSPs. The C, C++ application. This is where the software engineer really wants to be. Both C and C++ are supported within SDK. These projects are managed as a complete project and includes compiler options, that is to say how the code is to be compiled, whether there are additional symbols, optimizations, uh, etc. There are linker scripts which describe how each section of the code uh, and uh, data sections reside in memory and in which memory. All of the source code, including the header files, is kept within this project, as are any of the generated binaries. An application is always based on a BSP. Now, if so chosen, the BSP can be changed once the application uh, has been developed. And multiple applications may use a single BSP. From within SDK, it's easy to get to all of the platforms, BSPs, and applications. On the left hand of the screen, on the Project Explorer, you can see from this example that there is hardware, software, and BSPs all called out, each uh, supported hierarchically. So a quick look into the actual SDK window. This is the main development window that the software engineer will be dealing with. 
On the far left hand side, under the Project Explorer tab, is an outline which, do, which displays all of the elements of the project and each one has an icon so that you can quickly identify what type of files you're dealing with. The main window is an editor which, has, which is uh, closely coupled in with the diagnostic and error detection support. On the far right hand side is a code outline. So if you want to jump quickly to a specific header file, function, or uh, variable usage, you can do so in this window. And in the bottom tab, there are problems, consoles, terminal windows, property view lists, and so forth and so on. So creating a software application is very straightforward. SDK supports multiple software application projects and they are targetable for either standalone or Linux. There are a number of templates provided, the simplest being Hello World, which is great for just seeing if an application and a board comes up properly. There's more involved memory and peripheral tests and other frequently used code snippets. The empty application project template is typically selected when one is going to import existing software files. There's built-in error navigation. Uh, every time the file is saved, it is run through the uh, compiler and any errors are flagged. There's also support of extended by Xilinx for Eclipse. We can program the programmable logic portion of the SOC and there's additional support for debugging, flash programming, and many other capabilities. Running the code is very straightforward. One would simply right-click the application and begin running. Uh, the bitstream does need to be downloaded to the SOC first, but only if there are peripherals that the processor will be talking to that reside in the programmable logic. Otherwise, no download is required. Inevitably, there's always a problem with a small piece of code. So there, there is a, what is known as a debug perspective, which brings up all of the appropriate windows which are most useful for diagnosing and finding errors within SDK. So in summary, SDK is an industry standard tool that software engineers are likely to already be familiar with. Xilinx provides the necessary extensions for SDK to work seamlessly with Zinc. Hardware-related items are easily imported into SDK to allow the software engineer to quickly begin work on software without having to know the intimacies and intricacies of the hardware. SDK also provides commonly used templates and various tools for accelerating software development. I hope this answers many of your basic questions about how applications are developed using SDK for Zinc.